Well, hey kids, Funkman Day funking it up from the Melbourne CBD once again. And uh, I've got an amazing story to tell you. In fact, uh, my friend Rusty, the grumpy Rusty, he's got an amazing story to tell you. And it's about that girl. Can you see her just behind me? Uh, she must be about five years old. And uh, she just prayed for Rusty and something miraculous happened. Yeah, are you ready to hear about it, kids? Are you ready? Oh yeah, ooh. Rusty, why don't you take it away, man? Uh, I was having a coffee in the city and I had hurt. Ah! And that little girl saw I was in pain. And she came to pay for me. Oh yeah, that's so awesome, Rusty. The, the compassion of that little girl. She came up to you, she saw you were, you were hurting. And now tell me what happened, Rusty. Tell me what happened. Oh, uh, she put her hands on me and she cried that I had to be healed and... Oh, yeah! Oh, 
Ah, yeah. Ah. Wow, that's so cool, Rusty. And that's such an encouragement for you kids that you too can pray for the sick and see them healed like Rusty. And uh, now, how are you feeling, Rusty? What's going on? Uh, well, I used to drink coffee all the time. Oh yeah, that's right. He used to be real grumpy. I think you still are, aren't you, Rusty? Uh-uh. Now, I love Jesus. I know he loves me. And I hey, hey, oh yeah. Wow, Rusty, that's so cool. That's so cool. And this is uh, this this is so cool that it's a, a month of thankfulness, a month of gratitude. And Rusty has come to know Jesus, and he's so thankful that Jesus is a healer. And it happened all with a little girl. Oh yeah, thank you, little one. And uh, we better say goodbye, Rusty. What do you reckon? Oh yeah, so yeah, uh, and I, I, uh, I love myself now as well, even I know. Wow, that's so cool, Rusty. That's so awesome. Rusty loves himself and he loves Jesus. Thank you, little girl. Yeah. See you later. Oh yeah. Thank you. What was it for? And who did you say thank you to? Or maybe you can't remember the last time you said thank you. You know, as a little girl, I remember my mum always reminding me to say thank you. It was as if she knew I was going to forget. I remember so many moments my mum saying to me, don't forget to say thank you, Lauren. Especially around my birthday or Christmas. You know, I'd be so excited by my new presents, so distracted by ripping off that wrapping paper and playing with my new toys, that I'd forget to thank the person who got me the toy. And so my mum would always have to remind me to say thank you. Now you'd think that with so many years of being reminded to say thank you, I should be pretty good at it by now, right? But to tell you the truth, I still forget. Even now as a grown up, I still have moments where I'm so distracted or excited by the things happening around me that I forget to say thank you. You see, saying thank you is so much more than just good manners. When we take the time to say thank you, what we're really doing is showing people that we value them and we value what they've done for us. Most of all, saying thank you is how we show our gratitude. But you know, I love how amazing our God is. See, God knew that we weren't perfect and he knew that we'd need reminding to say thank you, just like my mom did when I was a little girl. And that's why the Bible is filled with verses that remind us of the importance of saying thank you. Like our Bible verse for this month, Psalm 136. Give thanks to the Lord because he is good. His faithful love continues forever. But there's another story I want to share with you. This one's from Luke chapter 17. The story starts off with Jesus on a journey from Galilee, his hometown, all the way to Jerusalem. One day, as he's walking between the borders of Galilee and Samaria, he comes across a village and finds 10 men with leprosy standing outside the village gates. When the men see Jesus, they cry out to Jesus saying, Master, have pity on us. See, the men knew who Jesus was and they knew that he had the power to heal them. Jesus looks at the 10 men and he says to them, go, show yourselves to the priest. Now you may be thinking that's a bit of a weird response, but in actual fact, it was the perfect response. Back in Hebrew law, it was only the priest who could determine whether someone was healed. And it was only the priest 
who could allow you to rejoin your community. So that's why Jesus said, go, show yourselves to the priest. The 10 men listen to Jesus's command and they do just that. They get up and they begin to walk to the priests. And as they're walking, all 10 men are miraculously healed of their leprosy. One of the men, a Samaritan, realizes that he's been healed. He stops, turns the other way and runs back to Jesus, praising God. He throws himself at Jesus's feet and thanks Jesus for healing him. Jesus says to the Samaritan, but weren't all 10 of you healed? Where are the other nine? Why is only one of you come back to say thanks to God? Jesus said to the Samaritan, go, your faith has made you well. You know, there are so many things that I love about that story. I love how it reminds me yet again of how loving our God is. That Jesus would hear the cries of these men and heal them of this horrible disease. But I also love how this story challenges me to always remember to say thank you. In the story, all 10 men were healed, but only one chose to say thank you. See, saying thank you doesn't always come easily to us. And sometimes saying thank you, just like the story, requires us to stop and go out of our way. But what we have to remember, Nitro Kids, is saying thank you is so much more than just good manners. When we take the time to say thank you, we show people that we value them and we value what they've done for us. And most importantly, remembering to say thank you pleases God. And so this week, Nitro Kids, I wonder how you're going to remember to say thank you. I wonder what you will do. Maybe you can write a little thank you note and give it to one of your friends at school or do a thank you shout out for your friends on social media. Or maybe tonight before you go to bed, you'll just take an extra few minutes to thank your mum and dad for the dinner they made you. The possibilities are endless. How will you remember to say thank you this week? Thanks to the Lord, for He is good. His faith.